Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center and University of Washington bring together the largest group of prostate cancer researchers in the world, all united to try to diagnose this disease earlier and cure it. One of the things that's becoming abundantly clear is that prostate cancer is not just one disease. If you dissect a tumor, one cell sitting next to a second cell might be very different in terms of the proteins on the cell surface, the molecular changes, the DNA of the cancer that makes it tick. And so trying to sort of fold all of that information into new treatment strategies is the challenge that we're faced with today. So we in the prostate program have a three-prong approach. One is to improve the diagnosis with earlier tests, to tailor treatments with a precise method with genomics, and then also to improve risk assessment and maybe even prevent prostate cancer. And it's been extraordinarily exciting to see the changes that have happened over the years that I've been doing this. The field has advanced quite a bit. Yeah, good. Our team of researchers at the Fred Hutch Cancer Center are taking a team science approach. All these disciplines coming together to really speed up the pace of discovery, speed up the pace of new research, and hopefully speed up the pace of better care of our cancer patients. So we're improving diagnostics on a few different levels. One is blood tests and non-invasive tests, but we're also looking at diagnostics such as imaging. Developing therapies that are low side effect profile, but have the potential to suppress all the key resistance mechanisms, all the biology that drives that cancer cell is something that we're very optimistic about. And that's stuff we're working on every day. So if we can understand or identify the risk of prostate cancer, then we can screen more attentively, we can get them on clinical trial, we can engage them, we can give them a reason to get tested. Donor support is more important than ever right now because it does allow us to have greater research endeavors than we would have previously. These are the types of funds that we use to really move forward high risk, high reward studies that are gonna help us to understand where the field's going. We hope five years from now, we'll be able to diagnose patients earlier. And then not only that, when we treat them, treat them something precise just to them to cure the cancer. And with your help, we'll conquer this.